More than 20 years after being victimized by former Ohio State University Dr. Richard Strauss and four years after filing claims against the university for allowing it to happen, about 100 of the sexual assault survivors got to take their case to a federal appeals court today. A three-judge federal panel in Cincinnati heard arguments over whether the district court got it wrong when it dismissed the claims for being far outside the two-year statute of limitations. Both sides agree that OSU officials knew about the abuse that happened under the guise of physical exams between 1979 and 1998. No cameras were allowed in the courtroom, but the attorney for the students argued students didn't learn until 2018 that the university actively concealed the abuse back then and allowed it to continue. But the attorney for OSU says students knew then they were being victimized and even had nicknames for Dr. Strauss. Dr. Soft Hands and Dr. Cough, names that reflect his sexual predation. That's their allegation in this complaint at paragraph 196. And we must look to the allegations of the plaintiffs in this case to determine whether the cause of action accrued 20 to 40 years ago, it did. They failed to disclose uh, Strauss's abuse to uh, the medical board, to law enforcement, to the public, to students. They shredded his employment file. They destroyed patient health records. They lied to Mr. Snyder Hill when he said that anyone else ever been abused. They failed to discipline him for uh, two decades. When they finally had a disciplinary hearing, they hid it, and then they hid the findings, and then they let him work at the university for two more years, and then they gave him emeritus status. And then years later, they lauded him as being a great doctor for students. Two of the judges on the panel today called the actions by the university egregious. But the question before the court is whether, whether the district court judge, Michael Watson, was wrong when he applied the statute of limitation to claim some of them that date back as far as 40 years. The ruling on this is expected within the next few months. And I've been reporting on the Strauss cases for the past few years. You can find our previous stories at NBC4i.com by searching Culture of Cover Up.